Right, every year, the top award from the Illinois Farm Bureau and the Illinois Certified Crop Advisor Board goes to an advisor who's working toward economically and environmentally sound crop decisions. In 2023, that honor went to a Watauga-based man. Shelby Kluver sat down with Brandon Hall to find out how he earned this year's honor. And we are joined now by Brandon Hall, the 2023 Top Certified Crop Advisor of Illinois. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. I mean, this sounds like a really big award for people that aren't familiar with the Illinois Farm Bureau, with CCA. Talk about how big of a deal this is. I got my CCA certificate um, about six years ago. Um, so just been um, in the grind doing doing what we do here um, in, in the agriculture world. But, um, you know, I got a phone call uh, one morning from our Farm Bureau manager. So she's like, you, you, you've you won. We filled out this application. We nominated you. I, I, what crossed my mind was, you know, all of the CCAs that I, that I've worked with, all that, all those that have taught me what I've been taught. And I'm like, man, how do I surface to the top? So it, it was very humbling experience for sure. Uh, one of the things that you talk about a lot when I've read articles talking about your award is your work in and around Watauga and how much you credit the farmers that you work with around Knox County. I think it's really important to point out that, yeah, you do live and work not only in a rural county, but a really small town as well. Talk about what's so pivotal about the people in and around Watauga, Knox County area. Yeah, Knox County is second to none, in my opinion. You know, uh, my grandpa was a uh, was a community man. Uh, that legacy lives on, you know, as I as I started getting into this industry. Um, you know, your your Bob Strum's grandson and, you know, to, to have the pride that comes with that. But you, you start looking at all the individuals that are very successful in this community. Um, you know, you know, we've got a, a really unique group of, of young leaders in this area that, that I take a lot of pride of being involved in. Um, all of my peers, all of my friends, they're all community people. They're all servants of this area. They want to give back. And it's no different, uh, it's no different here in Watauga at the at the Watauga FS location. The 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 individuals that I I have uh, had the opportunity to get to work with and manage and mentor um, here in Watauga it has just been an amazing experience for me. Um, I would not be sitting in front of you today, I, I believe, if if it wasn't for those individuals. And you talk a lot about the the progressiveness of farmers that you work with speak to that absolutely you know we have a group of of young professionals that are eager to learn new things they're willing to try new things um, it's not just that um, we're going to do the same as grandma grandpa and and dad have done for years and years they're coming back from college they're coming back from experiences and saying how do we you know how do we increase production on our acres and um, so those, you know, small farmers in this area, we have several of them and, and they, they, they're just looking for more and looking for more knowledge. So for me, I have a unique, you know, like opportunity to share some experiences that I've had educationally. And, and then now, you know, the exposure of, of this gets me the opportunity to share more of those with them and, and, and move agriculture forward um, into the future. Before I let you go, I wanted to ask, looking ahead to next year, which is right around the corner, what are some of the trends or what do you think is the future of crop advising? Yeah, I, I think simply it's it's the sense of building relationships. Um, Agriculture has always been a relationship business. It's a family business. Um, those people that, that I have the opportunity to work with, they're looking for somebody they can trust. So uh, one of the key terms that we use in, in in the CCA world is they're looking for a trusted advisor, a trusted advisor, a trusted community member, and a trusted friend, uh, somebody who's willing to get in the trenches with them and uh, you know work with them as 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 hard as we can uh, to to continue to build their operations to to new levels. So um, I, I feel like we're well on our way to that, um, and excited to see you know what's next in 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 retail ag here. Well, Brandon, thank you so much for joining us today, and congratulations once again. Thank you very much, Shelby. And the CCA award criteria includes advisors who perform superior service in the management of nutrient, soil and water, pest control, and crop production.